द गीता थ्री पार्ट फोर द सीयर्स कॉल हिम वाइज हुज एवरी अटैम्प्ट इज फ्री विदाउट एनी डिजायर फॉर गेन विदाउट एनी सेल्फिशनेस ट्रूथ कैन नेवर कम टू अस एज लॉन्ग एज वी आर सेल्फिश वी कलर एवरी थिंग विद आर ओन सेल्फ थिंग्स कम टू अस एज दे आर नॉट दैट दे आर हिडन नॉट एट ऑल वी हाइड दैम वी हैव द ब्रश A thing comes and we do not like it, and we brush a little and then look at it. We do not want to know. We paint everything with ourselves. In all action, the motive par less is par. The motive par is selfishness. In all action, the motive par is selfishness. Everything is hidden by ourselves. We are like the caterpillar which takes the thread out of his own body. and of that makes a cocoon and behold he is caught by his own work he imprisons himself that is what we are doing the moment i say me the thread makes a turn i and mine another turn and so it goes we cannot remain without action for a moment act but just as when your neighbor asks you come and help me have you exactly the same idea when you are helping yourself no more your body is of no more value than that of john don't do anything more for your body than you do for john that is religion he whose efforts are bereft of all desire and selfishness has burned all this bondage of action with the fire of knowledge he is wise reading books cannot do that the ass can be burdened with a whole library that does not make him learn it at all what is the use of reading many books giving up all attachment to work always satisfied not hoping for gain the wise man acts and is beyond action naked i came out of my mother's womb and naked i will return helpless i came and helpless i go helpless i am now and we do not know the goal it is terrible for us to think about it we get such odd ideas we go to a medium and see if the ghost can help us think of the weaknesses ghosts devils gods anybody come on and all the priests all the charlatans that is just the time they get hold of us the moment we are weak then they bring in all the gods i see in my country a man becomes strong educated becomes a philosopher and says all this praying and bathing is nonsense the man's father dies and his mother dies that is the most terrible shock a hindu can have you will find him bathing in this very dirty pool going into the temple licking the dust help anyone but we are helpless there is no help from anyone that is the truth there have been more gods than human beings and yet no help we die like dogs no help everywhere beastliness famine disease misery evil and all are crying for help but no help and yet hoping against hope we are still screaming for help oh the miserable condition oh the terror of it look into your own heart one half of the trouble is not our fault but the fault of our parents born with this weakness more and more of it was put into our heads step by step we go beyond it it is a tremendous error to feel helpless do not seek help from anyone we are our own help if we cannot help ourselves there is none to help us thou thyself art thy only friend thou thyself thy only enemy there is no other enemy but this self of mine no other friend but but myself this is the last and greatest lesson and oh what a time it takes to learn it we seem to get hold of it and the next moment the old wave comes the backbone breaks we weaken and again grasp for that superstition and and help just think of that huge mass of misery and all caused by this false idea of going to seek for help possibly the priest says his routine words and expects something 60000 people look to the skies and pray and pay the priest month after month they still look still pray still pay think of that is it not lunacy
What else is it? Who is responsible? You may preach religion, but to excite the minds of undeveloped children. You will have to suffer for that. In your hearts of heart, what are you? For every weakening thought you have put into anybody's head, you will have to pay with compound interest. The law of karma must have its pound of flesh. There is only one sin, that is weakness. When I was a boy, I read Milton's Paradise Lost. The only good man I had any respect was for Satan. The only saint is that soul that never weakens, faces everything and determines to die game. Stand up and die game. Do not add one lunacy to another. Do not add your weaknesses to the evil that is going to come. That is all I have to say to the world. Be strong. You talk of ghosts and devils. We are the living devils. The sign of life is strength and growth. The sign of death is weakness. Whatever is weak, avoid. It is death. If it is strength, go down into hell and get hold of it. There is salvation only for the brave. None but the brave deserves the fair. None but the bravest deserves salvation. Whose hell? Whose torture? Whose sin? Whose weakness? Whose death? Whose disease? You believe in God. If you do, believe in the real God. Thou art the man, thou the woman, thou the young man walking in the strength of youth, thou the old man tottering with his stick. Thou art weakness, thou art fear, thou art heaven and thou art hell. Thou art the serpent that would sting, come thou as fear, come thou as death, come thou as misery. All weakness, all bondage is imagination. Speak one word to it, it must vanish. Do not weaken, there is no other way out. Stand up and be strong. No fear. No superstition. Face the truth as it is. If death come, that is the worst of our miseries, let it come. We are determined to die game. That is all the religion I know. I have not attained to it, but I am struggling to do it. I may not, but you may. Go on. Where one sees another, one hears another, so long as there are two, there must be fear, and fear is the mother of all misery. Where none sees another, where it is all one, there is none to be miserable, none to be unhappy. There is only the one without a second. Therefore be not afraid. Arise, awake and stop not till the goal is reached.